Hi everybody, you are watching tutorials. My name is Alex and today we're gonna create logo mockup in Adobe Photoshop. This is very easy step-by-step -step tutorial that you can accomplish in seven minutes or less. But if you want to simply use this mockup, you can follow the link in the description or click on the button on top of your screen and download it for absolutely free from tutorials.net. If you are a regular Adobe Illustrator user, you may be interested in my entire course Mastering Symbols inside Adobe Illustrator. Why? Because this course will help you to be more productive in industry standards of vector software. But today is Adobe Photoshop tutorial and I'm gonna show you how to use and create mockup from scratch. So let's get started with logo mockup in Adobe Photoshop. So I'm now in Adobe Photoshop and let's start with a new document. Ctrl N or Command N to create a new document. I'm gonna size it with 1920 by 1080. Click create, double click on your background to make it a regular layer. Let's rename it to the PG and apply, first of all, convert it to smart object and apply a gradient overlay to it. I'm gonna start with these colors. Uh, click here, apply the default. And for the black color, I'm gonna start on the A9, A9, A9. like so. And for the white stop color, I'm gonna stop on E9, E9, E9 color. So it's gray to gray. Click OK. Set to 75 degrees angle and click OK. Now we need to add some noise. In order to do that, navigate to the layer, new fill layer and Pattern. I'm gonna name it with a pattern. Click OK. And from this drop down menu, choose this icon. Sorry for that. Choose this icon first in the second row, noise. Apply it to your fill layer and set the blending mode from normal to color burn. Click OK. Return to your background. Ctrl Shift N or Command Shift N on your mark to create new empty layer. I'm gonna name it with place here because it's gonna be our mockup file. First, let's convert it to the smart objects and let's populate it with content. So double click on the smart object icon and I'm gonna place here a PNG logo. It's can be a PSD file or Adobe Illustrator file as well. Click OK to apply the changes. Save changes here. And now we have this Hewlett Packard logo. And first of all, I'm gonna set the fill opacity to zero and apply four effects to this smart object. So first effect is a bevel and embers. Set style to outer bevel Set the size to 5 pixels. Uncheck Use Global Light and set the angle to 100 degrees. Set the altitude to 25 degrees. Into the highlight mode, set the blending mode to soft light and opacity to 50%. Into the shadow mode, leave a multiply but change the opacity to 15%. Now navigate to the inner shadow. For the inner shadow, we're gonna set the blending mode to vivid light and set this gray color D0, D0, D0. Click OK. As you can see, it's as this highlight on top of your logo. Set the distance to 1 pixels, set the size to 1 pixels and uncheck this use global light option. Angle should be 90 degrees. Now navigate to your gradient overlay. And for this gradient overlay set the opacity to 20 degrees. Click on the gradient. For post color stop set the white color. 
For second color stop, set the opacity, clicking on this mirrored stop color here, and set it to 40 degrees. Click OK here, set the angle to 90 degrees, and check this option data. Now go to the drop shadow. For the blending mode of our drop shadow, set the soft light. Choose black color. Now go to the opacity and set it to 50 degrees. Uncheck use global light option. Set the angle to 90 degrees. Set the distance of your drop shadow to 7 pixels and change the size to 10 pixels and click OK. And this is how we can apply the emboss effect. But I'm gonna also put it into the perspective. In order to do that, follow the first link in the description and download perspective paper. Place it here on top of your logo and apply the changes. Now select your logo with control right bracket or command right bracket. Set your logo in front, then Ctrl T or Command T on your Mac to grab Transform Tool. Click on this icon on top of your screen twice to navigate to the Scale Tool. Then hold Ctrl or Command on your Mac, grab your top left corner and align it with the top left corner of your perspective paper. Do the same with other corners. And when you're ready, apply the changes. Now delete your perspective image. And this is how we can set a perspective to our mockup. And now I want to scale this logo, so Ctrl T, Command T on your Mac and holding Alt and Shift, scale this logo. Apply the changes. And let's check whether our logo working or not. Double click on the, to open the content of our smart objects. I have another PNG image. It's a logo of Sega. I'm gonna scale it down and apply the changes. With backspace delete our Hewlett Packard logo and save the changes to my smart object as well. As you can see, our logo mockup is working like a sham. If you want to download this logo mockup, go to the vitorials.net, follow the second link in the description. So if you enjoy this tutorial, do not forget to give a thumb up, subscribe to my channel and 